Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Amid rumors of a serial killer, Stockton Police Chief Stanley McFadden held a news conference today to connect five of the city's recent homicides, happening between July and September, all occurring at night and when each victim was alone. While he said the department is unsure if there's one suspect or multiple, he also said the city is offering a cash reward that leads to an arrest in connection with these cases. A person in West Sacramento was shot twice after an alleged road rage confrontation. The victim was not seriously injured and no suspect has been arrested at this time. River Valley High School was forced to forfeit their football game tonight after the Yuba City Unified School District received a video of the players acting out a slave auction. In a letter to parents, the district called the video a, quote, reprehensible act. A third swastika has been found on the campus of Sacramento State in the month of September. It was found with the words, white pride nationwide. The symbol and words were quickly taken down and now the university is working to set up a campus-wide town hall. Today, Governor Newsom called for a windfall tax on oil companies. In the announcement, he mentioned the price of a gallon of gas has gone up nearly a dollar in the last week and a half. And while the cost of a barrel of oil is down $15 from the end of August, the state is sending out inflation relief checks starting next week. Police say a 20-year-old is now facing murder charges in Placer County after he was allegedly linked to a fentanyl overdose death. The Placer County DA said in the statement that he allegedly sold the narcotics to the victim on December 3rd of last year. A Navy judge ruled today a sailor was not guilty of setting the fire that destroyed a Navy assault ship in San Diego in 2020. The sailor was 19 years old at the time of the fire, and it took almost two years for him to fully clear his name. The prosecution argued that he was vengeful about not being selected as a Navy SEAL. The California Inter- the California Interscholastic Federation voted to take girls' flag football one step closer to becoming a high school sport. It's already a sanctioned sport in seven states, including Alabama, Nevada, and Arizona. Today is the last day of the water year. 2022 featured more extreme drought conditions across California, along with a record-setting heat wave. This has been the third straight year of extreme drought in the state. An algae bloom in Southern California has led to an algae bloom in Southern California has led to bioluminescence that can be seen at night in any ripple in the ocean. Scientists don't fully understand why the algae glows so brightly when the water is disrupted, but it's possible it could be an adaptation to help ward off predators. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.